Hey everyone, welcome back to Oneness Learning Center Tutoring. Today we'll be covering oxidizing and reducing agents in the unit of electrochemistry. So let's start off with a question to think about. Under certain conditions, which statement is correct? Here we have four statements. Take a moment to consider them. Before we get into them, let's explain what oxidizing and reducing agents are. Here is a table that shows most of the common oxidizing and reducing agents. Within this table, the oxidizing agents are on the left side, while the reducing agents are on the right side. In terms of strength, oxidizing agents get stronger as you go down the table, while reducing agents get stronger as you go up the table. As a side note, for the most part, Metals that are solids are generally stronger reducing agents, such as lithium, calcium, and sodium, while nonmetals like fluorine, chlorine, and bromine are generally stronger oxidizing agents. For an oxidizing agent, they will always oxidize or be reduced by a reducing agent. On the other hand, the reducing agent will simply do the opposite. The main idea to take away from this is that the oxidizing agents will always be the ones to gain electrons, while the reducing agents will always lose electrons. An example here shows fluorine as the oxidizing agent and chloride as the reducing agent. Both can create reactions with each other. They are shown here in this snapshot from the table. Now let us come back to the question from earlier. We will now break down each option and see which one is correct. So option A, bromine, is a stronger oxidizing agent than chlorine. Let's look at the table. These are part of the oxidizing agents, so the lower you go, the stronger they are. As we can see, chlorine is lower than bromine. So chlorine is stronger than bromine denoting the statement as false. Now option C says that fluoride will reduce iodine. This means fluoride is the reducing agent. Here again is the table. As we can see, both species are on the weaker side. Since they are both weak, no reaction will actually occur. So this statement is also false. Next we have option D. This states that fluoride has the most tendency to be oxidized. From the table, we can see that fluoride is actually the weakest reducing agent. So fluoride will never be oxidized by any oxidizing agent. So this is false as well. Finally, option B tells us that chlorine will oxidize bromide. Once again, we look at where the species are on the table. Since both of them are considered stronger agents, this reaction will actually occur, so B is the correct answer. Now just before we end, here's a great tip to consider when figuring out when a reaction will actually occur. A reaction will be spontaneous if there is a reactant to be oxidized on the right side that is above a reactant to be reduced on the left side. In simpler terms, for the table in this video, as long as the reducing agent is above the oxidizing agent, then a reaction will occur. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and leave a comment down below if you have any other topics you want us to cover. Thanks for watching. Bye.